Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Today in this video we're going to do a tier ranking list of teams who should forfeit their season after their week one loss. So week one had some really great action but there was a couple of teams who took really bad L's. So if you look at these teams right here discount from chicago on these are all the winners from new york to arizona these are all the losers so we're going from either forfeit your season or relax so let's begin for more content like this make sure to like this video let's hop right into it so we're going to start off with these arizona cardinals let us see what we have arizona they had a loss they i believe they were winning and then they lost and then marvin harrison was wide open um i wouldn't be too worried honestly i think you'll be okay i'm not tripping too bad about that loss you'll be fine right the buffalo bills are a pretty decent team pretty good team really good quarterback you'll be all right the atlanta falcons though that's a i'm worried if i'm a falcon i'm worried bro you've paid kirk cousins a lot of money and with all of that money that's the result you got maybe he's a desmond look like desmond ritter out there i don't know he don't look he don't look good out there i ain't gonna lie to you um it's week one tj watt was a monster but at the same time, you paid that man a lot of money. I expect you to win your division. And look like the Buccaneers might say, F all that. It's our division now. Nah. Well, it was always their division. They won last year, too. Um, the Baltimore Ravens, I'm going to say relax. Nothing to worry about. The Chiefs, they got the main character. Y'all going to be fine. right? It's a tough loss. My man's foot was on the line like some KD stuff. That's tough. That's plot. But that's okay. Because you got Lamar Jackson. Hey, maybe you see them again. And hopefully... I don't think so, but hopefully you get some luck because that's what you're going to need. Carolina, that's a. <sighs> Boy, everything they did was completely. <laughs> that's the only sound that matters. Them boys looked awful. Bryce Young, you know, I like Bryce Young. I like him as a person. I like it's just the fact that he doesn't play well. Like he doesn't look like a guy that should be a bust. You know what I'm saying? Like, busts usually have, like, a a-hole douchebag type face you want to punch. But Bryce Young looked like a really good young man, to be honest. But, I mean, he don't. he's not looking good. He's not looking good out there. He's looking rough. And you could say it's Carolina's fault. You know, maybe Carolina hasn't built a great team around him. But it's like, you can't expect everything to be perfect around you, right? Like, you, you just can't. You can't expect it all to be perfect. So the fact that he's looking that bad and there's no improvement and that's how you start off the season after having such an awful last season, I'm not going to lie to you, bro. We're going to have to put you at forfeit, bro. Y'all going to get that number one pick and y'all might have to get rid of Bryce Young, and that's tough. Um, Cincinnati Bengals, and I'll be, you'll be okay. I know, Joe, I mean, it's crazy you lost that game. That's crazy, right? Like, no one picked the Patriots to win. Like, that's an insane loss. Um, Ten points is insane. And it, uh, hopefully Joe Burrow is healthy. But, I mean... <laughs> Y'all going to be all right. I, I think that's one of them dumb losses that you like, dang, why did we lose that game? It really hurts our season later in the season because maybe it hurts seeding. But I think you'll be fine, right? But that's that that loss is tough. Yeah, my man, I got to – I nah, – I'm going to – I don't know. That's Now nah, I'm going to do this. I'm sorry. I'm going to – I'm going to have to give y'all forfeit, bro. I'm not going to lie to you. And I know that seems crazy because it. Sh you would say, baby, Jesse, that should be worried. Bro, the way they lost, the way they lost, like Deshaun Watson looks so terrible that it's abysmal. Like that trade is literally the worst trade. It's a great trade for me. I'm a Texan fan. It's the worst trade of all time. And if it's not the worst, it's one of the worst. And I knew we were fleecing them too. I ain't gonna lie to you. When we made that trade, I was so happy. I said, I can't believe they took that, but I'm, I'll am i run with it. Yeah, Deshaun Watson, uh, they showed his deep stats. They showed all of his stats and it looks really bad. He couldn't complete nothing over 15 yards. He didn't look competent at all. He looked like one of the worst quarterbacks in the NFL. Um, I'll put y'all, you know, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put y'all at worried. I'll, I won't say forfeit, but cause your team is talented enough, but uh, man, it's, it's, it looks rough. The Denver Broncos. Yeah, man, I'm sorry. That's a, yeah, them boys, uh, yeah, Bo Nix, he not, I mean, he, he didn't look good. He a rookie. So it's nothing crazy. It's just, I mean, what are you even expecting from this season? Maybe you just win four or five games and call it a day, get an elite player next year. Try maybe a Travis Hunter. I don't know. Just there's nothing really there. So Sean Payton, are you getting over? Are you overrated? Are you? Ah, I'm not going to get into that discussion. Indianapolis Colts, you know, relax. Anthony Richardson is a very interesting player because Anthony Richardson is really, really good and not good at the same time. 
Like he has the ability to destroy teams. Like he had he went nine for nineteen. That's an awful percentage of complete completion percentage, but he rip off this perfect pass. I mean, like right man right in his face. He rip off a perfect sixty yard bomb for a touchdown. One of the greatest passes any Colts quarterback's ever done. Andrew Luck, Peyton Manning, like literally one of the greatest passes any Colts quarterback's ever done. He is that talented. He's just so raw that it doesn't like he's not accurate. Like that's what's gonna stop him, honestly. Him not sliding is that's what's gonna stop him from reaching his potential. But I mean, if Shane Steichen, like he can help develop this guy and turn him into what he needs to be, bro, he's gonna be a problem, bro. Like I'm he he's good, but he's not good. It's it's an interesting thing, bro. He'll have these boom explosive plays that really really like shake up a game but then he'll throw an interception and just look really terrible the next couple plays i don't know it's crazy um jacksonville i'd be a little worried man i don't know i feel like you know trevor lawrence you know he hasn't really lived up to trevor lawrence you know and you know it's week one against miami you know y'all probably gonna have a winning season but it's just i need to see a little more from trevor lawrence like cj stroud came in your division and trevor lawrence is supposed to be the best prospect since andrew luck and until Caleb Williams came along. And then it's just he doesn't look like it. So I need to see a little more. Raiders. I mean, I say you should be worried, but like what what do you be worried about? There's nothing really to be worried. Y'all are not supposed to be good anyway. So I don't know. That's a quick one. Like, what are we even talking about? I wouldn't even be worried. Tennessee, I would be worried. The reason why is Tennessee, they they probably have a pretty good team over there. It's just Will Levis. I mean, he's I don't know if he's good or not. And then he had that interception and he had a hilarious reaction. My man had both hands behind his head and fell to his knees. I mean, yeah, he threw a pick six and he now that's a that's an all time great picture right there. This man on both knees. He throw the interception. He see the boy catch it, run the other way. This man fell to both knees, hands behind his head, and says, Oh my gosh, praise to God. Why did he make a mistake? That's what I be feeling like sometimes. Um, yeah, Will Levis, that's a hilarious reaction to that. But yeah, I definitely, I definitely be a little worried if I'm a Tennessee fan. Um, Washington, should I be? I mean, I might put you like, I don't know. I don't, there's no, like you got destroyed, but I, you're you're not supposed to be good. So I don't know if there's any real deep thing to that. I wouldn't say forfeit the season. It wasn't like you got destroyed, but it was like, yeah, cool, whatever. You're the commanders, like it's, it, it, is, it is what it is. Um, Green Bay, I think you'll be okay. I know you lost Jordan Love for a couple weeks. I think Malik Willis. Um, now nah, I'm gonna put you at now. Nah, I, I said I said that man name out loud, and I was like, no, yeah, they should be worried. Um, yeah, Malik Willis. I, they they probably gonna sign someone. They gotta sign someone because that's crazy to have him start. But yeah, I'd be worried. Jordan Love out for probably four to six weeks, and you you can't be losing a lot of games. Your division may be pretty good. Like everyone in your division won their first game, so I'd be a little worried. I think the Rams should be okay, man. Y'all gonna be, y'all gonna be. Honestly, I might put y'all at relax. I have, I don't, I have no problem with the Rams, to be honest. They played a good game. They faced a good Detroit team. Played a good game. They couldn't stop David Montgomery in that overtime, but they played a good game. You know, Matthew Stafford did his thing, and Puka got hurt, but Cooper Cup was killing it. Thank you for me, my fantasy team. So if I, you know, if I'm the if I'm the Rams, I'm not tripping too much. I don't think I'm gonna win the division, but I think you'll get a good, you'll get nine wins and maybe make a wild card spot. Like you're, a, you're a very competent team. And last, and certainly least, the New York Football Giants. <laughs> Them boys suck, and I mean they suck. You understand what I'm saying to you? You a Giants fan? I'm looking at you right now. Y'all suck. I don't understand. I'm telling you, that y'all be setting yourselves up for doom. They signed Daniel Jones to a $160 million deal. He's thrown more interceptions. They either said pick sixes or interceptions that he's thrown touchdowns since he made that since he made that deal. You know how crazy that is? They the Minnesota Vikings. I fully expected the Giants to win that game. They in New York and the Vikings don't have a quarterback. So I'm thinking, okay, this could be a close game of stupidity and, and terrible play, but it should be interesting. These boys suck. That, I'm going to get another one. <laughs> they stink. Daniel Jones, I don't know how he's still making his money. He made a lot of money in his life, and I, and that's good for him. And I don't like, you know, these people have emotions, and you know what I'm saying? Like, hey, I'm just being honest with you. Daniel Jones, y'all paid him over Saquon Barkley. Saquon Barkley had more touchdowns in the last game he played than Daniel Jones has had in the last two years passing. Do you understand how crazy that is? I think that's right. Do correct me if I'm wrong down in the comments. 
But I believe that's a correct stat. That's crazy. So you you definitely need to forfeit the season and look for your next quarterback. So this is my list. These people should forfeit. Their season's cooked. These people should be worried. Their season can be cooked or it was they had no expectations. So who cares? Um, you'll be okay. Just one loss. See how it comes and then relax. You'll definitely be pretty. You'll, you'll have a pretty successful season. You showed enough. So I'm like, yeah, you'll be successful. So, hey, for more content and tier ranking lists like this, make sure to like this video. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. We're on the road to 1,300 subscribers. And hey, and also check out this video right here where I react to the Texans versus the Indianapolis Colts. It was a really dope game. That's why I have them at Relax because Anthony Richardson looks so good. So, hey, check out my reaction to that game. I'm going to catch you guys on the next video. And I'm out of here. Peace.